What's up, YouTube? This is Damon, aka the world's worst magician, bringing you a look at the Mailchimp playing cards. Uh, so, Mailchimp is actually a company that does uh, email marketing and that sort of thing, but they decided they wanted to make a deck of cards. So, they got with Fuzzco and Theory 11 uh, and produced a deck of playing cards. Now, the main reason that I bought these is because 100% of the proceeds go to the Fuji's family. Um, and the Fuji's family is a soccer academy um, in Atlanta, Georgia. And basically what they do is they support refugees um, of war. So people who are from war-torn countries, after they've been through the refugee camps and things like that, uh, they make their way over to this um, academy. And, you know, they teach them, uh, they let them play soccer. That's a major thing there. But they also, you know, give them an education and give them a chance because uh, they're from war-torn countries and may have, you know, not been able to develop as far as education and that sort of thing. So to me, I thought that was a, a really good cause and worth, you know, giving whatever money I could here. Um, you can also donate to them directly. Uh, I will leave a link in the description to their page and also how you can help out. And I'll leave a link uh, as far as picking up these cards. Uh, so let's get into it. Again, these are uh, the MailChimp playing cards. And this is the back of the cards. Um, so they didn't... They kind of left the uh, the tuck pretty um, pretty plain. Um, so, you know, they didn't, they didn't go with trying to, you know, make a bunch of different designs and that sort of thing. So it's actually the front of the tuck and the back of the tuck are exactly the same and then the same thing with the side of the tuck it just has uh, a simple design on it um, they did have a really nice gold seal and uh, I was able to take that off so you can see it has the MailChimp logo oh, sorry I'll cover this one up that's from the Nomad deck uh, but here is the MailChimp uh, seal that was on there and I thought it was pretty nice so I was able to save uh, both of these decks uh, their seals so I was happy about that but let's get into the cards here um, so one thing that was a little bit disappointing for me here, um, so I guess there's a new game called Yaniv or Yaniv. Uh, this is the first time I've heard of it, uh, on this card, but it's basically a card game and this is an advertisement for it. And that is the only kind of advertisement card in this deck. And, uh, I don't know. I was a little disappointed. If you have a deck that's a hundred percent of the proceeds are going to a charitable organization, I would think that you would use this room to help educate people on that organization and you know what they're helping support rather than for a new card game but maybe that's just me but let's uh get into the deck here uh that's the only extra card you get oh i apologize there's actually a double backer um then the jokers are they switch the color schemes up but they are essentially the same image uh just a uh, chimp juggling some uh balls here and then for the work on the pips, everything was done uh, custom. So here you can see the uh, the MailChimp in there on the Ace of Spades. And then as I step through these, again, all these pips are going to be custom. And they did uh, fully custom court cards as well. So the court cards are all going to be chimps. Or I guess I should say monkeys uh, in general. Stepping through the diamonds here, and again, uh, you can see that these are definitely custom. And the cards, I mean, they feel great. Uh, feels like a you know standard air finish, uh, air cushion. Sorry. Um, let's see these. I think those are baboons, maybe. I don't know. Correct me if you're wrong. If you're a fan of chimps, apes, and monkeys, call them out as you see them. <laughs> but yeah, they did custom work on all these cards, so. That was pretty nice, and uh, again, 100% of the proceeds from this deck is going to a charitable organization. Um, these cards, actually, the because these are, are the, and I'll show you the back here before we get finished, but I got the black version, and there is a red version, so basically everywhere you see white, you would switch that with uh, red, and um, the cards themselves, I don't know, they almost look like they might be blue instead of black. I uh, couldn't really tell from the photos, but I think that I think it's a red and blue color scheme on the other ones. Um, but this is the back. It's a uh, two-way back. So it looks the same either way. All right, now let's continue stepping through these. All 
And again, this was between uh, MailChimp, the marketing company, and Fuzzco and Theory11. Um, so there you have it. We've gotten through all the cards. I'll show you a quick little fan action here. Um, so the to me, the, the pips look nice. They're, they're really clear. They used a good font. Um, it's pretty thin. Um, and then the other way here, if you're going for a blank deck, uh, these definitely work for that. And then I'll fan the back for you. Just so you can see how that looks. Make sure I'm in focus. And the fan looks the same on the back uh, either way. Um, but that is all of it. And again, these were the uh, MailChimp playing cards. Well, I hope you liked that review. And if you have any questions, magic tricks, or decks that you want to see reviewed, go ahead and leave a comment down below, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. As always, I would greatly appreciate it if you would click that like button and subscribe for any future reviews. All right, see ya.